first of all welcome to our restaurant I have noticed that you are not Italian so maybe you want some help with the menu okay I can help translating it for you perfect so we have two menus as you can see okay and um, do you want pizza or um, other kind of food like pasta, fish, uh, meat? Okay, you have already tried pizza yesterday? Where did you go? Ah, oh, no, that plate, it's really, really good. So good choice, yes. But our place is better. Okay, so you want to try our traditional food from Napoli? Perfect. So I'll, um, yeah, just give me the menu and I'll translate everything for you. Yeah, I'm sorry, but we don't have an English menu. I'm not the owner of the place. I keep telling him, please just let's do an English menu. And it's like, no, I don't want to translate the plates. So, but I'll do that for you. Don't worry. So, uh, in this first place, it's asking if you have any allergies. So, please, if so, let me know. Okay, perfect. So, I'm going to just uh, translate all our appetizers for you. We have got three pages dedicated to appetizer. So... Um, yeah, I'll try to translate everything for you. In the first page, there are um, the bruschette uh, appetizers. Bruschetta, it's a pizza dough, like a little pizza um, in double cooking. So it's um, it's kind of crispy, you know. Okay, so we have got a lot of kind of bruschette, so let's start with the first one. It's the Wayo bruschetta. Uh, inside there is garlic, uh, semi-dried red and yellow cherry tomatoes and organic oil and basil. Then there is the La Maialina Bruschetta with Parma M, cherry tomatoes and organic oil. Then we've got the Parmigiana Bruschetta with high quality baked M, flakes of Parmesan cheese and drops of balsamic vinegar. Then there is the Forza Napoli Bruschetta with Fiorelli cream, which are broccoli rape, caserta pork sausage, and that's it. It's simple but really, really tasty. Then there is the Ali fish with anchovy fillets, stracciatella. Uh, stracciatella eats fresh cheese and organic oil and basil. Then we've got the infocata bruschetta with duja, which is uh, like a spiced salami, stracciatella and organic oil and basil. Then there is tagliere guayo with, with uh, parma M, high quality baked M and mortadella, and tagliere sorrento. Again with Parma M, buffalo mozzarella and cherry tomatoes semi-dried and fresh basil. Um, yeah, let me just take my... Let me take um, a note about this. Yes, the Parmigiana is high quality baked M flakes of parmesan cheese and balsamic vinegar yeah you remember correctly 
So let's take a parmigiana. Okay, then the next page. Um, it's all fried food. So the one uh, the appetizers that I'm going to tell you now are fried. We've got the croquet napoletano with potatoes. Uh, it's potatoes with smoked provola cheese, parmesan cheese and pepper. Then we've got frittatina napoletana classica, which is an omelette with bucatini pasta, peas, beef, parmesan cheese, smoked provola cheese and bechamel, I think. Um, this is the translation of it. Do you okay? Do you know what I'm talking about? Perfect. And pepper. Then we've got frittatina again, but alla nerano. It's an omelette with bucatini pasta, zucchini cream, smoked provola cheese, zucchini flour, basil, parmesan cheese, and red shrimp tartar. Then we've got arancino mediterraneo, it's a rice croquette stuffed with parmesan cheese, organic oil and uh, tuna tartare and also edible flowers and um, pistachios, chopped pistachios and fiori di zucca in costiera, it's stuffed zucchini flour in butter with ricotta, lemon smoked provola cheese and parmesan cheese and then we've got misto e coccole it's a two croquette two croquette napoletano two arancino and two fiori di zucca so basically it's a mix of some of the food uh, i've just told you about in my opinion I would choose the mix so since you I think you are in, in Italy for a trip you know, right yeah as tourist are you enjoying it perfect thank you so I think it's better for you to try everything you can you know okay so un misto e coccole Okay, um, the next page is again appetizer, but you can choose if um, you want it fried or bacon. We're talking about montarine, and they're like some pizza, they're like pizza, uh, little pizzas like this. You can see the picture on the menu. Yeah, it's exactly like that with different ingredients on it so you can choose the porcelluzzo montarina with high quality baked ham stracciatella organic oil and basil then the parmigianina montarina with parma ham fresh cherry tomatoes and organic oil and basil the napoli montarina with caserta pork sausage Riarielli with fondue of parmesan or the guaglioncello montarina with organic tomato parmesan with organic tomato sorry parmesan cheese and organic oil and basil um, yeah the porcelluzzo montarina has high quality baked ham in it stracciatella which it's yeah fresh fresh cheese very good and organic oil in basil okay so one porcelluzzo and the last one i said it's the guaglioncello yes with organic tomato yes very simple and do you want them fried or baked baked yeah, baked it's equally good you know so okay so for the first course you want um, it's spaghetti pasta 
or do you want to uh, we just eat fish or meat you want to try pasta okay okay so maybe pasta and then um, some dessert okay good just because you have um, you have chosen a lot of appetizer and that's good thing you made really good choices so very good but I think you need to uh, I think you need to save a place for the dessert so you can choose uh, vermicelli alla nerano which are vermicelloni which is a really really long pasta with zucchini cream parmesan cheese provolone cheese zucchini chips and organic oil evo with julienne of provolone cheese and basil and zucchini flowers okay um, then we've got pacchero con pomodoro e polpette it's a um, pas paccheri pasta uh, which is shorter and uh, shorted with like a big hole in it so all the sauce sauce goes into the hole uh, so paccheri pasta with tomato sauce homemade beef meatballs basil and organic oil evo then you can choose gnocchi alla sorrentina with uh, um, gnocchi it's like they are made with potato so it's pasta made um, from potatoes with smoked provola cheese parmesan cheese and basil then you can choose the cost to cost the, which are vermicelloni pasta with clams, lemon and parsley and then o macarone gamberi tartara vermicelloni pasta with shrimp tartare lemon, organic oil um, yeah, and organic oil ok, um, I really really love uh, um, the vermicelli alla nerano with uh, the um, uh, zucchini flowers in it it's really really tasty ok, good choice ok, so if you want I can tell you about the dessert as well so you know what to choose later okay so okay sorry what do you want to drink um you want some wine uh yeah i make you some recommendation based on what you you chose to it let me see yeah I think the best one um, should be the Falanga Falangina EGP yeah this one okay yeah you, you can add one if you finished it don't worry, just raise your hand and I'm coming to bring you another bottle. No judgment here. You are on vacation. So let's have fun. Don't think about anything else. Okay, so our desserts. We have got... Um, they are all homemade dessert. And they are all from Napoli receipts. So... We've got the tiramisu tiwayo. It's Savoyard biscuit dipped in coffee, uh, wrapped in mascarpone cream with cocoa crumble and served with fine cocoa. Then we have got the profiterole di pizza, which is fried pizza dough covered with Nutella. Then we have got the baba with custard and black cherry 
It's a typical Napolitan dessert drenched with rum and served with custard. Then we've got Delizia di Limone, which is a sponge cake with lemon covered with lemon cream, lemon again and raspberry zest. It's the one you can see the, the picture here. Yeah, it's this one. Then we've got pastiera napoletana. It's a short crust pastry, eggs and flavoring of orange blossoms. Um, then we've got the zeppola with custard and black cherry. It's a dog nuts traditional made in southern Italy. And then the classic lemon sorbet, ma milk ice cream, fruit salad with ice cream. And the last one, it's really typical and tasty. It's called Isola di Capri and it's a typical Napolitan cake prepared with fresh butter, eggs, toasted almonds and dark chocolate served with custard. Okay, everything is really good, yes. Okay. Okay, you can change idea though. So let's wait. Okay, yeah. Let's wait for the dessert. I'm coming later when you're finished all your food. Okay, so. Perfect. And um, again, thank you. Enjoy your food and buon appetito.